Hi, my name is Sydney Rucker, and in today's lecture, we'll be going over behavioral activation from Judith Beck's book, Cognitive Behavioral Therapy. To begin behavioral activation with depressed patients, the first step is to schedule activities. This is also the goal in behavioral activation. By scheduling activities for the patient, they will increase their mood, give a sense of achievement, make them productive and active, and also gives themselves credit for making an effort. Behavioral activation teaches the patient to think rationally and change their automatic thoughts. Depressed patients in activity is due to their dysfunctional automatic thoughts. The cognitive model demonstrates the process of automatic thoughts and how they connect to behavior. Beck describes sessions with Sally by providing alternatives based on Sally's experiences. Giving the patient positive reinforcement encourages the client to engage in more activities and increase her self-esteem. When the patient is given positive reinforcement, the patient is aware their behavior changed and encourages them to participate in more behavioral experiments. The two techniques in increasing behavioral activation is the pleasure and mastery scale, which rates activities on a 0 to 10 scale, showing the patient what they find pleasurable or a sense of achievement. Then using the, act the activity chart to teach the patient how to be active and show which activities show a pattern in behavior. When depressed patients engage in activities, their predicted mood may be different from their actual mood while engaging in the activity. Comparing their predictions and actualizations will show a pattern in behavior. To begin with inactivity, the cognitive model will show how the situation leads to changed behaviors. The first is the situation. To give an example on how the model works, let's say we have a depressed patient who needs to talk to their boss about another employee. The situation is talking to their boss, which follows automatic thoughts such as, my boss hates me, they probably think I complain a lot, they will not give me the time of day. Next, the emotional reaction, which is feeling anxious and hopelessness. Then the behavior results in depressed patients not talking to their boss. And this behavior remains inactive. Their dysfunctional thoughts keep them from engaging in situational activity. Since the patient is inactive, it contributes to the inability to gain a sense of achievement. For behavioral activation, the plan is to change the, dep the depressed patient's automatic thoughts. Since we want to make the patient active, a way to do this is finding which activities make them feel pleasure and a sense of mastery. In this case, mastery means achievement. When depressed patients facilitate activities, it makes them feel better, address their interfering thoughts, and assist them in putting pleasurable or productive activities together. As they engage, they are noticing how their behavior is changing and their dysfunctional thoughts alter to more functional and rational thoughts. This assists them in putting pleasurable thoughts together. And Beck, in Beck encourages behavioral exper experiments to increase a positive outcome. It is important while presenting these activities to provide the patient with positive reinforcement. The positive reinforcement, the more patient increases their self-esteem and allows to give themselves credit for completing the activities. As the session goes on, the therapist will take notes about what is being helpful or things need to change. During sessions, the therapist will consistently ask how they're doing, how activities they feel after and before they do them, so the therapist can see what patterns the patient is displaying and also for the patient to notice their own behaviors. So the therapist is consistently asking for feedback and the therapist will tell the patient a technique such as using the activity chart which looks like this and it provides a daily schedule and it's set hourly for the patient to set certain activities to a different time to make them active and it keeps a depressed patient active stopping them from going back to their depressive thoughts 
because the way people get over their depression is to get them more active first, then they will start to feel better. So after the therapist will sign homework, the therapist will review the following schedule. And it's also helpful for the patient to keep a balance in their activities so they're not overdoing themselves, but they're also not doing less. And the patient will ask, the patient will see if their mood has changed due to their activities. And by using the pleasure and mastery scale, it is used to predict levels of achievement and pleasure following activities. Each activity the patient does, they will rate it on a scale from 0 to 10. And depression interferes with recognizing pleasurable thoughts. The patient will begin to recognize that they can change their mood and rating their activities every day. By comparing the patient's predictions and actualizations of activities provides a source of data because the therapist can see which activities the patient has more pleasure in or a sense of achievement. And by the patient acknowledging which activities help them will better the client and, so, and if they are aware of their activities, the therapist will schedule more since the patient is improving. And this also has the patient give themselves credit for completing more and more um, different experiments. And usually memories of an activity will cause an act inactivity because the patient will remember how they used to be. And now their automatic thoughts tells them they are not able to do it or it will be too hard. So this goes back to using the activity chart to put these activities in so the patient can do them, which will ch change their automatic thoughts. And once they know that they can do the activity, their behavior becomes active, which will alter their automatic thoughts, and they can tell themselves that they can do it. And... Um, they are able to complete more and more situational activities. So overall, behavioral activation is very important in treating depressed patients. Behavioral activation gives the patient guidance in changing their behavior, scheduling activities, and response to predicted automatic thoughts. And there are other outcomes such as um, there are other outcomes such as they gain more self-esteem in completing other activities and as they rate their activities it will make them more aware of their behavior. The therapist has to provide support and be persistent for the patients to do more activities. Providing positive reinforcement allows the patient to know that they can change the way they behave. After completing an activity, the patient should give themselves credit as well. The activity chart keeps the patient depressed, keeps depressed patients balanced and accountable. The chart also allows the patient to know they are in control and how they behave and which activities display pleasure and achievement. This is how behavioral activation works and how effective it is for depressed patients. I hope you enjoyed this lecture. So thank you. This is Sydney again.